Remco Evenepoel in the mix at the 2024 Tour de France. Even Tadej Pogacar says it'll be a big battle. But does the Belgian champion have what it takes to become one of the Grand Tour greats? Let's not kid ourselves. He's already a Grand Tour champion, winning the Vuelta a España in 2022. But the haters out there will say, well, it was a weekend field, and once Primoz Roglic crashed and abandoned, it was fate accompli. I'll admit, being on the ground there in Spain, we were all a bit disappointed when Roglic crashed and went home, and it felt like the air had been let out of the Vuelta a España's tires. But it's still a three-week race with all sorts of curveballs, and to survive, let alone win, is a massive achievement. And Evenepoel's talent is real, world champion in the road race in 2022. This summer, 2023, winning the world championship title, Liege-Bastogne-Liege twice, Classic at San Sebastian three times, and he's still just 23 years old. The Tour de France 2024 has been the target, the project for some time. This is when the great Belgian hope will make his debut in the biggest grand tour of them all. To get a taste of what it's like to compete with all the pressure from the outside and the inside against the best, Vingago, Pogacar, and when they're at their best over those three weeks in July. The Tour de France in 2024, June 29th to July 21st, covers gravel, 59 kilometers of time trials and seven mountain stages. So far, Evenepoel's raced in four Grand Tours. In his Giro debut, he crashed and abandoned. This May in the Giro, he dominated the first two time trials, but after a positive test for COVID, he had to go home. In 2022, at the Volta España debut, he won the race overall. But this summer, 2023, it raised some red flags at the Volta España. First, the team, Sudal Quickstep, admits it's still building its Grand Tour roster, developing its riders and bringing in some new talent like Mikel Landa for 2024. But either the directors or the riders drop the ball in the Havalambre stage, letting an escape go with four Yumbo Visma riders, including eventual race overall winner Sepkus. Then of course, the rider, Evenepoel, does he really have what it takes to compete in the high mountains against your Vingagos, Pogachars, and Raliches? On the Vuelta's Tormule stage, early in the day, he cracked and lost buckets 27 minutes of time. What this all means for his and the team's planning going into the offseason this winter is anyone's guess. But for sure, the ultimate evitable test will be this July at the 2024 Tour de France.